Hey everyone, it's Amanda from Amanda Loves Animals, and I know I just did a Hermit Crab update, but now this is the second half of the update. So Kalani and Riptide have finished their um, isolation in here, and so now I've started the big move that I was talking about. So with 10 Hermit Crabs, I'm putting 6 in here and 4 in here. I'm using this flashlight because my phone doesn't like light, I guess. <laughs> um, so I have Kalani right there, and um, Smudge just right over there somewhere. Um, it's a 10 gallon, and I have like one house over there, one house over there, and two tunnels, and the shells, and then, um, there's netting and stuff. Um, I'm trying to give them, like, stuff to do, but obviously it's a 10 gallon, so I'm just trying to make the best of the space, because I don't have a cover yet. I'll be doing a, um, saran wrap cardboard thing that I usually do, um, so once I have the lid, I can put things higher, but for now I can't. So I'll be putting their food and water down here and stuff like that. But for now, this would be for my smallest crabs. And Kalani is super small. I have to show you guys how small she is because I didn't realize how small she was until I saw her next to other crabs. But she is like the definition of a small crab. I've never had a smaller crab, nor have I seen one. And she is so tiny that I keep losing her in the sand. But um, So I definitely wanted her on her own with some other small crabs because it's not a good idea to have her with such big crabs. Over here, um, we have Amazons over there and Sands somewhere over here. And I uh, just put in um, Riptide. So the rest are underground and buried. I wish that the smaller ones would come up so I could move them in here so Smudge wouldn't be so lonely because Kalani's kind of quiet and doesn't really come out much. Uh, but unfortunately they're not, so I'm just going to wait for them to come up from a molt or whatever they're doing down. Um, most of them just like to bury. And then once I see them, I'm just going to grab them and put them in here. So for now, there's actually eight crabs in here, but there will be six. Um, there was one issue. Wherever Sand is, she doesn't really like Riptide. Um, so I've been doing a few introductions. And um, she kind of stands on top of his shell, and she tried to switch into a bigger shell. And that just kind of shows signs of dominance and stuff like that. Um, but I'm hoping it will work out. If not, she'll be going in an isolation tonight. But I am definitely monitoring monitoring them. Um, let me find where they are. Okay. So they were together. Um, she's been showing some signs of, you know, dominance. She's always been the most dominant crab I've had. She was the first crab I owned. So there have been some signs of dominance and stuff, and I don't really like it. I'm kind of worried. So um, I'm definitely keeping them on watch tonight. I'll be sitting here for a few hours and stuff like that. But uh, there's Riptide, and he's obviously a lot bigger than she is, and she's been standing on his shell and um, training into really big shells and stuff. And I just, I'm a little worried about that. So I'm just making this video to document, you know, the good and the bad of, you know, hermit crab owning. So those are some of the issues and things that are happening. So tonight I'll be monitoring them too, and if not, she'll be going in the isolation tank that I have already. Um, I tried to split up the supplies and stuff. I'm cleaning the water. Um, I got a bunch of dirt in it when I was setting up. But there's like a ton of shells and um, kind of too much almost. So um, a lot of them will be going with these guys once I get more of the crabs over here because I want to still leave some up for small guys coming up. But they're pretty much all under these two. Uh, water bowls there's like four or five holes under there so and I haven't seen them over here because I've dug up here so um they're all under there the rest of them and um so that would be um um Oscar and Storm would be the ones that I'm looking for to put into the small tank and then the rest um Cricket Alexandria um Jackie um, Amazon, and whatever, you know what I'm trying to say, so the rest will stay in here, so six in here, four in here, this is a very long video of me talking about absolutely nothing, but, um, I just want to show, like, what's going on, so, um, I'll be doing a saran wrap cover for them tonight, and I'll be monitoring them, I'm probably going to be here for a few hours, because, you know, being a responsible pet owner, you have to take sacrifices, so I might do some studying or something over here, but, Definitely going to be monitoring all of them. They have all been introduced to each other, but I'm still seeing some complications with them, too. Um, Riptide doesn't, isn't bothered by her, but Sand is definitely showing signs of um, dominance. And she's always been the most dominant crab. Every time I introduce a new crab, um, I have to introduce it to her first. 
But yeah, so I'll be getting some new water bowls, um, smaller water bowls for these guys and food, and hopefully it all works out. I'll definitely give you guys an update. Um, you can check out my Instagram for more updates. And yeah, I just wanted to give you an update on my new 30 gallon plus 10 gallon idea of having the small crabs over here and the larger crabs over here. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.